Do you want to learn how to pack solid areas of black using just the round shader without chewing up the skin? Well, you've come to the right place because in today's lesson, that is exactly what we're gonna be covering. Don't worry, I'll be guiding you every step of the way, so get your machines out and ready for today's follow along lesson. Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Ben Fisher and welcome to lesson 21 of my complete tattooing course for beginners, Tattoo Method Pro. It's my personal goal to change the tattoo industry as a whole and make learning how to tattoo accessible to anybody wanting to learn. Does that sound like you? Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and my socials, which I'll put links to in the description because it really does show your support. And if you find the lessons useful, then please let me know in comments. And if you think there needs to be improvements in any way, reach out to me as well. I've put this course together for you, not for me. If there's something that I can do to help you even more, then I'm always looking for active ways to improve the course, so please speak up. In today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to pack areas of solid black using just the round shader. So many artists out there get intimidated when using round shaders for packing, because when done wrong, it can chew up the skin and possibly cause scarring, which would obviously be a huge problem for you and your customer and potentially ruin the tattoo and your reputation. That won't be happening to any of you after this lesson. I want to show you a method of blocking that if you follow exactly as I teach it, then you'll always get 100% full saturation and never chew up a customer's skin either. I know a lot of people have been excited to get to the sections of the course where we start creating some nice shading and blends to make some awesome designs. And this is the start of those lessons. Next, we'll be learning all about the different shading methods, including whip and brush shading. But let's give us hands a good workout and pack a load of nice solid black in today. That being said, let's jump straight into doing the lesson. Remember, don't stress and take your time, no pressure at all, and just enjoy the whole process. We're aiming for improvement not perfection straight away if you're watching this on youtube then follow the links in the description and make sure that you signed up to the 30 day free emails so that i can email you the stencils for the lesson and if you're one of my students that's took the plunge into the tattoo industry then as always the stencils are attached to the lesson so you can easily download them and use them again and again so for this exercise i'll be using the sol nova unlimited I've got an 18 round shader, which is what we'll be completing the next few lessons with. And I'm just using solid black dynamic. All right. So like I've said, we're going to be packing solid black. Now, a lot of people do get nervous when doing this with a round shader because the predominantly smaller it doesn't take a lot of force for the needle to penetrate the skin. So I'm just gonna demonstrate dry the method that we're gonna be using. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do small circles while moving. So the circles overlap one another. What we don't want to do is just do rows across. Like I've already explained in previous lessons, that, once it heals, is sometimes visible, and we want to avoid that. So we're doing small circles in a circular manner. So I'm doing circles, but then I'm also creating a circle and overlapping that circle. What that does is it stops the rows. So I'm gonna demonstrate now, obviously with some inking, hopefully it makes sense to you. So, little circles, which will block in a little area. However, we want him to create circles with the little circles. So my hand's moving in a circular manner, overlapping, but then if you see, I'm creating a bigger circle.
and you can see how that fully saturates and it's nice and solid black. Then all we do is keep going round until we've filled that full area. So the reason that we do it like this is we're overlapping, so we're going over the same area a couple of times. So when you wipe it away, that area should be nice and solid. The reason that we do it like that is because if you're just quickly going over it, you wipe it, it's not fully saturated, then you're going over it again, then again. All you're doing there is potentially going to tear the skin up. So nice and controlled, and you'll find you don't have to rush this. That, that's no good. Nice and controlled in a system, a format of doing it. When you wipe it away, that area will be done. You don't have to go over it again and again and again. Make sure when we're going up to the lines, we go up and onto the line. We don't want to get up to it and stop up and on to the line. I can see that that square is nice, fully saturated. Didn't have to go over it 50,000 times. All right. So you can do this, obviously I'm, for demonstration purposes, I'm using an 18. There's nothing to stop you getting a selection of different size round shaders. Smaller, bigger, and having a practice. Doing circles in a circular manner. So I'm gonna leave that bottom corner. just so I can demonstrate another little tip. Right, so we're down here, it's a small space. 18's a relatively big round shader. So I can use, if I'm just getting into a small space, look, you can see I'm tilting my machine slightly and I'm just using the corner of the needle to get right into that corner. So when I'm doing that, the bottom needles, if you think back to the lesson where we covered this, the bottom needles will be going into the correct depth. The top needles, i.e. the ones at the top side of it, they're not even penetrating the skin. But for this purpose, we don't need that to be happening because we're just bothered about them bottom needles getting right into corner and making that bit solid. So when I said earlier on in the course, everything angles, everything makes a difference. This is a prime example of when that is actually useful to us and we can use it to benefit us. Tight little circles in a circular fashion. Make sure that when we're going up to the lines, we're going up to and on to the line. So I'll do one more with you, talking you through it, then I'm gonna do the rest. Like I say, you've got the stencil for all the squares. I would do a couple of rows with each size round shader that you've got. It's all good practice. If you have the attitude of, well, I'm just gonna do two squares that's not drilling and learning the hand movement okay the more you put into this the easier later on is going to be
okay so you can see tight little circles in a circular fashion and that's the end result lights slightly reflecting off these what these uh, mats obviously get wet but they are solid hopefully you can see that on camera So your rose should look something like that, nice and solid, done in a single pass. So circles going in a circular motion, overlapping and gradually working your way around the design. Bear in mind the smaller the round shader that you're using, the smaller and tighter them circles want to be. Bigger needles, obviously, you can cover a bigger area a little bit quicker. Just like being a painter and decorator, choose the correct tools for the job. You're not going to paint a wall with a toothbrush, are you? Big areas, you want a bigger needle. It's less time, less effort to put the ink into the skin. It's going to be better for you and better for customers. So, do as many squares as you can. Like I say, if you've got multiple needles, I'm just demonstrating with the 18 round shader. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to do this lesson with the exact same needle. That's not the purpose of the lesson to just copy. I'm showing you a method that applies to all the round shaders. So if you've got a three round shader, five, seven, nine, practice with them all because they all are slightly different, but the method is the same. It's just the feeling, of the vibration, hopefully at this stage, as you're tattooing the mats, you notice the vibration in your hand. And that's really important. Later on, if you're going too deep on a customer, that vibration changes slightly. You can feel it. You don't even have to be looking at what you're doing. You'll just get used to a specific feeling and you'll know when that's not quite right. Okay, so that's blocking in solid black, 
with the round shader. Well done for reaching the end of another lesson. Hopefully you're starting to see that you're going in the right direction and noticing small improvements. Even if it's just beginning to feel more comfortable with the machine in your hand, that is a huge step. Remember, we're taking this one day at a time and building a solid foundation. Let's learn things correctly from day one. No more jumping around on YouTube from one topic to another to another. Trust in the system that I've created and you'll be shocked at how far you get in just a few weeks. And listen, if you're struggling with any of the lessons, then just give me a message to me in Rush Facebook page where I'll always get back to each and every single one of you. Sometimes it can take a couple of days to get to your message. As I'm sure you can imagine, my inbox gets quite full, but I do try and spend any spare time answering all those messages in person. Usually people first ask when I respond, is this actually Ben messaging? So I'll answer that now to everybody. Yes, it will always be me at the other end. Hopefully that sounds fair enough for you and it excuses that sometimes you might have to wait a couple of days. There's only one of me and I want to make sure that I'm personally getting back to you all rather than just paying somebody to sit at a computer replying to everybody. Again, please show your support if you haven't already and make sure that you're subscribed and following me socials. There's links in the description for those of you that haven't already done so. As the subscribers grow, then it shows that I'm doing something right and allows me more time from a business aspect to dedicate more effort into making these videos to help you in any way that I can. Thank you. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.